Okay, so we're going to break these relationships, these divine relationships we just got into, y'all. We're about to break this on down because there's an energy over the divine relationships right now. And I'm laughing because I know it's an energy over and I can't convince anybody that there is um, any energy or anything over it. So I, I just, you know, we're not going to even... We're going to let people play, let, let God do God's thing, right? So anyways, um, <laughs> y'all, okay, let me get myself together. I just feel like we're stepping into new relationships, but we got to learn how to deal with residual energy that we had from previous relationships because you're healing every day. It gets scary when you get into something with somebody and you're feeling these crazy emotions. But the difference is this person's not karmic and they're not going to run from it, but they don't understand how do I feel like this, okay? It's intense out here for people and because they don't want to make the same mistakes, which is understandable. You don't want to make the same mistakes. You don't want to go through any more heartbreak. You don't want to go through any more pain. You don't want to go through any more games. You're ready for life. You're ready for, you know, this family. You're ready for these things. But you got to understand that y'all two are together because... Number one, the, the last part of y'all healing that y'all have to do comes from each other. Baby. Woo. Reconciling differences. Reunion. Okay, 10-10. This, this is what I'm saying, y'all. <sighs> Intense change. Didn't I just say that? That's because of the false twin that y'all had. And this intense change that y'all have, y'all still feel like, okay, I felt like I felt about that false twin. Is this person false? No. No. Your false twin just had false um, actions and characteristics of your real twin. That's what they do. They put that mask on and do that, and then they take it off. Rawr, here I am, you know. So, the reunion is about to happen with you and this partner here. And this is a divine connection. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody talking about somebody. I'm like, da, 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 divine connection. We ain't talking about your karmic connection. We're talking about divine connection here. Okay, here we go. Ground. Shield and protect. Ground yourself. Shield yourself and protect yourself. Shield yourself from others trying to tell you what to do with this relationship. Don't talk to too many people about it because they're not divine. They're not chosen, so they're not going to get it. See, we, we run around talking to people that don't even have relationships that are divine, that aren't even that divine that they can understand the relationships. But we want to know some advice from them. We're going to stop. We need to stop doing that, okay? Enter the vortex. 10, 10 again. I'm telling you, this is mirroring action here, you and your twin. 10, 10 again. Aligning with infinite abundance. This is what it is. You ground yourself, shield yourself. This abundance trying to come through, and the enemy don't want it to come through. And it's got to come through through y'all loving each other first, okay? And um, and and resolving these issues. And I mean, there's not really even an issue. It's just I feel a way about you, but I don't know about these feelings because they're second guessing themselves and their intuition, okay? Has nothing, and they don't want nobody else. They're not being with nobody else. You're not doing it. Y'all both are stuck on each other. Both are not cheating. Not all that. Y'all ain't nothing that going on. Y'all passed it. Because you never had to go through that with each other. Y'all passed that when you went through that with other people. So, y'all, this is Spirit of Sin. We got to learn how to heal still uh, with being with somebody. And it's different. And then you heal and then with being by yourself, you know what I'm saying? When you heal them with being by yourself versus healing when you're with somebody, it's different. But it's the last residual, just little residue energy that y'all need to heal with this connection here, okay? Increase your frequency. High conscious awareness. Both of y'all know. It's just intense, it's intense emotions here. Both of y'all know. With and mirroring numbers, 10, 10. Three, three, mirroring numbers here. 
Heal abandonment to time to forgive. Heal the abandonment issues that you have. There is nothing wrong with your twin. There's nothing wrong. Okay? You're projecting. Stop projecting. You're going you gonna to fuck it up. Okay, you're going to fuck it up. I'm telling you, 7-7 seven, seven here. 3-3 three, three again. Awareness. Spirit wants y'all to be aware of what y'all saying and doing to each other. Because I already know. Now, you weren't going to get with the shit. But when, but when somebody else got with the shit, you went on and got with it too. You said what? Y'all, and then it went down. And, and, and y'all feel bad? Crystal clear vision. Both of y'all have a clear vision on this relationship. It's just that it's hard. It's hard trusting after a long time. Acknowledge. Take responsibility. Both of you need to take responsibility. One of y'all, okay, one shuts down while the other one gets amped up. Which is good because you can't have two people amped up, right? But one need to calm down and the other one need to come out of their shell. See, when somebody says something or triggers you or you think it's going a certain way, you just shut it down. You know what I'm saying? I wait to this time to talk. Um, I'm in hermit mode. No. Talk about it. Speak it. And the other person needs to listen. That's how this gotta go, y'all, in order for it to work, okay? Woo! It's just intense emotions that y'all can't believe, and both of y'all are afraid that something's gonna go wrong. But if you constantly think like that, guess what? Something's gonna go wrong, and that's what happened. That's what happened. Y'all manifesting something going wrong in y'all relationships, okay? That's what happened. That's what happened. Spirit, give me a message right now for the collective. Look at you. This person love you. And you love this person. Y'all just going through the great awakening that, damn, I love this person. Like, yeah, look at it. We'll do it for you. Anything. He or she. They'll do it for you. They'll do it for you. Look at me. Oof. Don't break their heart. They love you so much. But they feel like you stabbing them in the back. And it's not. If you're not. That's an illusion. Yes, they are so passionate about you. I'm telling you, that's why they. That's why all of this is happening. The intense emotions and feel. Look at this. This person want to. Sh person ain't going nowhere. Talking, I'm blowing smoke up your ass. Okay, ain't going nowhere. Not a not a place. Ain't going nowhere. Victory. Partnership. Reconciliation after an ending. This person ended it with you. You ended it with this person. Spirit said no. There's going to be a success in y'all getting back together. Because it's a twin, and y'all tripping. You, you, you're tripping. You, it's because you love each other. Who <laughs> can't make it up? It's because you love each other. King of Cups came out of here. Now here come the queen. I told you, but I, when the king here, here come the queen, baby. When the emperor here, here come the empress. That's how it go. Shocked you. Shocked you. It shocked some of you that you still had more healing to do. But that's the thing. You're never done healing. So if you're thinking, I'm going to heal and then I'm going to get in a relationship, you're never done healing. Never. So you might as well think think again. With it. You, might, you might as well. Let's get, let's get an oracle real fast. Let's see. Can I get it before this time? Yeah, let's go. Oh, came right out. This person is so concerned about this, and he don't even have to be. 